All right, the trip has started. I'm about, oh boy, I'm about a mile from my house. I immediately regret this decision. Soon to be, what, 500 miles? 600 miles? I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna periodically check in, let you know how things are doing, but just started now, feeling good. Got this Airhawk seat, so I think that's gonna be all right. I don't plan on having this GoPro on the entire time because I don't have any way to dump my footage, so I guess I'll, uh, and it's gonna be, and it's gonna be pretty boring because it's all highway driving, interstate, tollway, whatever you wanna call it. I guess I'll check in with you guys later. All right, we're in Indiana, making kind of a gamble here. I know my gas light's about to come on. We got 125 miles on this trip, and I just passed the gas station. It said 35 miles to the next stop. So, we're going for it. <laughs> so far, this trip has been a lot easier than I thought. Oh, I don't know, a lot easier. It's not been as difficult as I expected it to be. I mean, I've gone, I've gone long distances before, and I packed my bag this time. My bag is overflowing, but it's stuff with, like, shirts and socks and underwear. You know, I'm not bringing heavy camera gear or anything like that. But one thing that's awesome is these roads in Indiana have been brand new so far. Or at least on the tollway, anyway. To get into the tollway, I do have I-Pass, which works, like, all the way out into New York. So I went to the manual lane and pulled up to kind of where you take the ticket. I took my iPass out of my pouch and like waved it over my head and nothing happened. So I had to like back up a little bit to actually be in the radar. That wasn't too bad. That was probably my biggest concern of the whole trip was trying to get the iPass to work. So next time I check in, I'll either be at a gas station or I'll be sitting on the side of the road stranded. All right, we'll check in soon. Boom. We did it. All right, so we were 160 miles into that trip meter. That ain't bad. 160 miles on a tank of gas on the Panigale? I think I filled it up too, and it was, I think I had one more gallon to go. If you need to stretch it, you could probably really, probably really do 200 miles if you, I mean, if you don't drive like I would, just was. Anyway, morale is high. Got a little water. I've got a, uh, got a Camelback. I stood, they had a place where they had a bunch of old payphones in this rest area. I gassed up, went in, took a leak, and then, uh, all the payphones were taken out of these booths, so I just set my bag up there and chowed down a granola bar and then had a little sip of water back on the bike back to it anyway i'm in eastern indiana so probably next time i check in i'll be somewhere in dreaded ohio ohio's the worst and that's coming from somebody who lives in illinois so boom roasted stanley you crush your wife during sex and your heart sucks boom roasted this is one of my favorite parts of this drive for some reason i love bridges so look at this we got this Regular old bridge, chain link fence, and if you see up there, there's a smaller bridge, and then there's a huge bridge. It's like super up high, and it's got like an arc underneath of it. I love the engineering of bridges, and I have no idea why. I think it's fascinating. Look how incredibly high that is. It's amazing. So unfortunately, my favorite part of the drive is in Ohio. So a funny thing happened when I was coming out of Indiana and going into Ohio, my iPass didn't work. And I like stopped and I took it out of the thing, like waved it over my head and the gate wasn't going up. And there was a, I was in one of the manual lanes that actually had an iPass thing in it. And I talked to the lady, I was like, oh yeah, I took it coming in and won't take it going out. She's like, all right, well, it'll be like you never drove on this road. Like the gate went up, I was like, oh, thanks. Just let me right through. 
is awesome. So I think now I'm, I'm about 400 miles in. Probably another 50 miles or so, another 40 miles and I'll have to get gas and then I'll be in Pennsylvania. Then it's three hours from the border of Pennsylvania to my destination, so doing pretty good. We did it, Pennsylvania. Now the weird thing about Pennsylvania is I'm going to the center of it. It's so huge, it's gonna take me another three hours. So I just got another big like 160 tank. I think I've got the tolls figured out too with this automatic toll tag. I stop right before it and then inch forward holding it in the air. Like an idiot. Oh, no trip would be complete, would it? This is the perfect scenario for this bike to be hot. Just got done running like 75, 80 on the highway. Now we're gonna stop and sit in traffic. Quit playing with your dinghy. Watch your language in front of the lady, punk! Front roll. Oh dang, there's kids in the car. Hope everybody's all right. But yeah, after driving through Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, Pennsylvania is so beautiful. Look, there's a turn. We're going into a turn. Come on. So here's a story that you don't care about, but I'm going to tell you anyway. My dad works with a guy whose last name is Phillips, and the guy had a kid and named his kid Kyler. Look at this, Kyler Town Phillipsburg. Isn't that funny? Out of all the combinations of cities that are on a single road, and they're in the correct order. What are the odds of that? This is another one of my favorite pieces here. You go right between these mountains. How beautiful that is as we stay on the road. And then the road carves right into the mountain. I love it. Came through here one time and there was a gigantic pile of rock down at the bottom. Something had just fallen, like that. Like that entire chunk just came out. Anyway, we're within striking distance of uh, Gilson Snowboard's headquarters here. I've been able to get some really good stuff, but there's like weird things that happen that I didn't get on camera like I was driving around a bend and there was a guardrail and like a 30 foot drop and then a bean field and there was like 10 deer jumping around in the beans like no purpose just goofing off Dude, it is hot it's 97 degrees and it's six o'clock here 6 p.m. shouldn't it not be 97 degrees This is a serious hill. I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice. Now once we go over the river here and turn right, we'll be able to see the snowboard shop. Oh, and there's a huge feature. Wow. That's insane. What's up? Way. 
know who that was. I had no was idea who it was. It's a creeper. <laughs> Being weird. No way. You drove all the way. You done that before? Not to here. You done that before? Long drive Dude. on a motorcycle. Welcome. Dude, you're such a badass. I'm so cool. So the reason why Gilson turned into my favorite snowboard company is they pull an Airstream trailer around the country every winter and do free demos. Like they, they give you a snowboard and they're like, ride it, ride it all day if you want. Let us know what you think. And it's seriously the best thing under your feet. And after talking to these guys for an extended period of time, you really, it dawns on you how rare it is that there's good people doing good things. 